Hello. This auction is for a nice condition Travadial GB42 readout. I'm about to show it being mounted in my manual lathe. First I want to pan around a little bit, let you see the overall condition. Uh, it's not beat up at all. There's a couple of little scratches here and there. You can see that it has a new felt on it. This felt is used to keep chips out of the works and you'll see in a moment how that rides against the side of the ways. The crystal is, boy if it isn't new it looks darn good. Um, I don't see any real scratches on it and the uh, the numbers and the dial underneath look uh, uh, really quite good. Um, I'll move this with my thumb. You can see how it moves freely. It doesn't stop anywhere. Uh, that's a good test, by the way, for a Travadile. If you can move the wheel without it getting caught somewhere, that tells you that there aren't chips or other swarf inside the works. There's quite a few gears involved. Anyway, let me flip this over. You can see the uh, serial number of this particular unit. I read it as 36198. That is the uh, device that's on this eBay auction. So, Let's mount this up in my lathe. I have a custom-made holder that uh, I devised for this uh, machine. You slide it in into the dovetail ways and I have a, um, a little uh, tensioning screw and bracket that push forward, I'm turning the uh, screw right now, push the wheel into firm mechanical contact with the uh, the side of the ways and I have a lock here to keep it in place so now that I've done so when I move the carriage left to right you can see that the dial moves to track the position there's a course dial that you can zero you can't see the zero particularly well but you can turn it with your finger it's really quite easy you set it for zero so let's say this was my zero point I would set the coarse dial and the the finer dial to zero. So now that whatever motion I make is referenced from that point, the coarse dial goes from zero to six inches in one tenth inch increments. The fine dial, where this uh, needle is, uh, goes to from uh, it, it travels one hundred thousandths of an inch. Point zero. I'm sorry. 0 0.001, right, a hundred thousandths of an inch um, per ro uh, rotation. So in effect, you can read out, you can re really read out a fraction of a thousandth, but uh, the, the indications are for one one thousandth of an inch. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a, a nice quality device. Uh, I really like using a, a Travadile on a lathe because I find it it's just it suits my way of working I don't don't really need a digital readout but I don't like using the readout for particularly for the carriage on a, a typical manual lathe because they're they're just not well calibrated enough for uh, for purposes of uh, controlling your cut and uh, yes it's true that this is a fairly ancient device in terms of uh, design it's probably decades old but uh, the fact is that if you maintain it well, don't let chips get inside. In other words, keep that felt uh, up to date and well in contact so that the uh, whatever you're cutting can't get inside. Uh, I see no reason a device like this couldn't last a lifetime. If you have questions, please uh, uh, click below. And uh, this is a fixed price auction. Uh, it probably won't be up there too long, so if you find it interesting... Uh, Act as quickly as you can. Thank you and good luck bidding.